Today, the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports held this year's Primary School Examination Award Ceremony at the Bliss Center for Performing Arts. This year's top PSE performers and schools were recognized. Minister of Education Patrick Faber told Love News that while he congratulates the top performers, the ministry is not fully satisfied with the overall performance. Uh, we want to see uh, improvement. We believe that in terms of our education system, we continue to make uh, certain gains that eventually will translate into better performance for all our schools. You will see this morning that we not only awarded the uh, top performers, the individual students that is, we also awarded schools and uh, you now see that many of these schools are uh, steadily developing uh, and that is what we believe down the road will translate into a greater success for our education system. In terms of the specifics, um, I know the ministry has uh, the, um, has put, propagated a plan to um, to help teachers teach concepts of English, math, and science. Um, where are we with that um, project? Well, there's a lot going on in terms of uh, teacher training, but you're right, uh, Aaron, we are going to be focusing on English, math, and science. Um, those are, in fact, uh, the key subjects there in the uh, primary school exam. Uh, but it, the, these are also the uh, core subjects that are needed for them to be able to go on to higher education, whether that be high school or beyond. Uh, and so that focus is coming. Uh, you know that we've um, secured monies now from our uh, EKIP program, which is uh, funded with the, by the IDB, and that's $20 million. We continue to try to strengthen uh, our system uh, through our various different initiatives, the sector strategy uh, plan as well. Uh, we see $5 million being invested in uh, to help to strengthen the regulatory framework. Those consultations have now been in, uh, concluded, and we're now uh, trying to make sure that that becomes a reality. And um, pretty soon in the House, you will see us uh, introduce a loan uh, from the Caribbean uh, Development Bank for $70 million, which will go into infrastructural development across the country. So there's a whole lot going on, and we believe that all of these investments uh, down the road will translate into greater success uh, for our students. A few weeks ago, we aired the story of Courtney Gillett, the young girl from Corazal Town. Courtney is visually impaired and she earned an 85 in the PSC. However, Courtney believes that she could have done better if the invigilator who was assigned to her was better equipped in explaining the questions to her. So today we asked Faber about the situation. Well, as I understand it, uh, the need is, um, is made known to us at the district level. And then uh, we have special invigilators who are trained with, in special needs to uh, offer assistance for them. They, they are uh, taken apart from the other students, so they don't, while, it, while uh, they uh, sit the exam in a center, they don't sit in the regular setting uh, so that um, they should get that special attention in order to uh, be able to do well on the exam or do as well as uh, their knowledge would permit them to do. Um, so I, I, I don't know the details of that particular situation, but I do know that it is a point of our ministry to try to make sure that uh, the environment for those students uh, is there so that they can uh, do as best as they can in the exam. Gabrielle Hope of Bernice York Institute of Learning was this year's top PSC performer. It was announced today that the top 28 performers would receive a four-year scholarship to the high school of their choice and a book grant. 